Hey guys, welcome to Tarot and Heal. So today I'll be doing a review on my number one favorite tarot deck, that is Santa Muerte. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> Santa Muerte. Okay, by Fabiano Lestrani. All right, so let's start with the packaging. First of all, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Complex illustrations. Okay, and this is definitely um, carried through the entire deck. This is a theme, all right? So this is actually the death card featured on the cover. All right, so let's get started. This is how it opens. I feel like the packaging, the box is very sturdy. It's so cute. It looks beautiful, like being propped up along with the other, um, other cases. So this is how it comes out. It's pretty cool. And right, let's get started with the actual, the, the guidebook first. So this is a guidebook. Um, a detailed illustration of one of the cards. Now the theme of the actual guidebook, it, it follows suit with this whole like ancient type of vibe um, or vintage vibe rather. So it has like this eggshell color along with these like ornate borders and it's pretty cool. I like it. It's very well done, I would say. It also comes in like five different languages, English, Spanish, of course, Chinese, and some other languages, probably French and German, I think. So what I like about this, I feel like this is really good for a beginner's deck, all right, because it gives you, um, a, you know, it gives you a general explanation, general interpretation, along with advice for each card. That's pretty unique. So I, I appreciate that. The only drawback is that with these uh with this theme of santa morte it doesn't really talk about the symbolism within the cards and that part i i am not too crazy about it is i guess it's forcing me to do some research but let's get started on the cards that's a minor thing so here's the cards this is what the back looks like they're right, contained on that theme Let me pull some cards for you. Okay. So this is the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Now, what I like about these cards, besides the beautiful illustrations here, Knight, Knight of Wands. Okay. Now, what's beautiful about this is with each element, the, the cups, wands, pentacles, and uh, the swords, they're color-coded. Because with these types of, uh, with this elaborate, complex illustration, like this is a ten of wands, you wouldn't be able to tell that these are wands if you don't read it, right? So in order for you to pick up the element really quickly, you know, as opposed to right away where you'll see the wands and know that it's a wand before actually reading it, with this, they help you by color coding. So all the wands would be red. All the pentacles have a green theme. The pen, uh, the cups are blue. Okay, and then the swords are yellow, I believe. Yeah, the swords are yellow. All right, so the only thing with this deck, I feel like this will be an acquired taste because it does have like a, you know, a bit of a, a darker undertone to it, um, being that it's, you know, skulls and all that, right? I just wish there were more, there was more um, explanations about why these, uh, who these characters are, where they are in the story, how does that relate to the energy? But outside of that, I am obsessed with this deck just as I am obsessed with this card here. This is the Eight of Wands. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, this definitely says going with the flow, you know, going with the flow, the energy of the universe here. I feel like these cards are very well done, very well illustrated for the energy, the Lover's card, all right? The cards itself are a little bit thin, all right? They're, they're a little bit thinner than I'd like it to be, but I feel like, look at this world card. I feel like with the um, illustrations here, it it kind of makes up for the, the, the cardstock, for me at least. Also, I must note, as soon as I opened up this deck, I just felt the energy pouring out of it. There's 
This is something potent about this energy, I must say. I don't know if it's just me or not. Maybe I was just really excited about getting this deck. But it's something about it. Like, when I do readings with this deck specifically, I barely have to clarify, it seems. Now, it's interesting because there's less of a, less of a, a unique interpretation for this outside of, like, the general interpretation of each card. But for some reason, I could still pick out. It, it's really easy to draw out the energy of the cards here. So I feel like that's worth it. If that's something that's worth it to you, I would definitely suggest, you know, keeping that one in mind. Yeah, but overall, this is my favorite deck ever. I almost want to get a second one uh, just for safekeeping, to be honest. This is a death card. All the cards have the regular names except for the death card, which is Santa Muerte obviously all right yeah i would definitely recommend this deck it's so beautifully done uh, the illustrations are just so intense right and it just has so much um so much soul behind it yeah i think that's what i'm looking that was the word i was looking for it has soul it has energy you can feel it you know it's palpable um but yeah let me know what you guys think do you have this deck or do you plan on getting it uh let me know if this actually helped you out or not all right, until we meet again, actually check me out on Tarot and Heal. That is IG. I do have this featured on the um, on my IG page, and I do monthly readings with these as well. So check me out. Peace.